Okay, I'm joined here by manager Luke Garrard after a 3-1 win over Farnborough. Uh, finally back to winning ways. Uh, Luke, that must feel good. Yeah, listen, you take the lead in the manner in which we did. I felt we come out of the blocks sharp. It was something that we addressed, especially after the emotions and the energy that we exerted on Sunday. And if I'm the opposition manager coming to here tonight, get out, get at them, see what they've got. And I felt that we were brilliant coming out of the changing rooms. And then we go and concede a goal, which gives them a little bit of belief. Um, and I have to say, they took the majority of that spell for 15, 20 minutes. And then we had to get ourselves back in the game. But I felt the second half, we managed it really, really well. You could see Clayton had hit a wall. Jaden Richardson hit a wall. Um, Lee Love hit a wall. This week, we have to utilise this squad. And there's going to be changes come Saturday to make sure we've got the best fit squad available or 11 available to go and back up what we've done this evening away to Waverley. Yeah, and what was your message to the lads at half-time? Obviously, um, that goal, you felt that it gave you a bit of belief. How did you speak to the squad to help try and kind of mitigate that? Um, it was out of nowhere, really. I think we have to do better defending. I had an outside centre-half trying to go on an overlap. When we're 2-0 up, we can manage the game a little bit better than that. And we don't show chin outside the 18-yard box. We allow him in on his right foot. Um, then he had a couple of flashes across the face of goal, which could have could have gone in. Um, obviously, speaking to their manager, they, they feel that they may have had a penalty. But I just said to the group, it's not about tactics for me. Go and lock on to a, a player. Go and win your battles initially. Go and pick up the loose ball. And I felt we did that. I felt Marshy initially and then Sagaf, when he went higher up in that midfield area, went and jumped on Olieki because Olieki wants to play, wants to... Um, get on the ball and now nah, I thought we were we were good. And we changed shape, Quezzy comes on, does a masterclass in his centre forward play, wins headers, backs in, um, gets you high at the park. And yeah, I, I was impressed with, with the boys, especially in the second half. I felt that the game management from the whole group was was way better. Introduction of Josh Hare, bit of experience, bit of nous. Um, I thought Bushy was good again today. I thought Femi was good. So a lot of positives, <clears throat> three points the main thing. Um, and like I said, we've got to build on that now away at Avery. Yeah, You mentioned building on it. Just how important is that win for this squad? Um, is this the start of some good momentum? Yeah, we need to go on a winning run. You look at, obviously, Eastbourne taking the early pace or setting the early pace and they go and get a great result last night. I said to the group yesterday at training, um, we'll know our fate in terms of where we'll be situated in the league after Tuesday evening's results. And we had to get three points today. Uh, against the side that I went and watched live on Saturday against Dorking and I left there going there two proper sides. So to be 3-1 at home, um, he makes four changes in one, which could unsettle us, but it brought an energy to them. So I felt we needed to marry up with that because of the minutes that were played on Sunday. So, yeah, it was important we got the win. We need to get on a winning run. Um, it's saying that, yeah, it's... Everyone, for everyone to see, we need to make sure that deficit is is um, caught up with the likes of Eastbourne, the likes of Truro, the likes of Torquay, because we need to make sure that we're closing that gap sooner rather than later.